got these socks that need finishing. And that this one is finished. Did I weave the ends in in this one? Oh, I think maybe I did. Wow, go me. And then it's just occurred to me I have a new microphone and I haven't plugged it in. Oh well. Now I have this one that obviously I just need to finish. I need to knit the foot. <laughs> so that's that's that pair that I need to finish. This pair, I believe this is a pair. One sock has a heel, the other one does not. Um and where did I put Where did I put the other pair? I found them. I found the other pair of socks. This is the pair I was looking for and also I left them over there. Also I have this pair which I just finished like last week. And then I have these ones, and these all need heels putting in. These have been here for like ages. So has this one. This is one has been here like forever. And then these ones just need to be finished. So that's one, two, three, four pairs of socks. Four pairs of socks that I have mostly knitted, but cannot wear because they're not finished. So my challenge for this video is to finish them. I don't know whether to give myself a time limit for this. Maybe I will. Um, I was wondering about maybe a week because it really doesn't take me that long to knit a heel in a pair of socks. These are going to be afterthought heels by the way. Um, all of the finished knitted socks I have, at least one sock in the pair is currently waiting to be washed so I currently of all the finished socks they're all in the wash of all the unfinished socks while well, they're unfinished so you know basically I don't have any knitted socks hand knitted socks I can wear at the moment and all of my non hand knitted socks are slightly slowly falling apart and you know you can really see their age <laughs> um so yeah I want to set myself a challenge to finish all of the socks that I started and yeah, I don't know, is a week long enough? Do we think? I think this one might take me longer than a week because of the pattern. It's a bit complicated, especially if I'm knitting all of the others at the same time. Shall I see if I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see if I can finish off this many pairs of socks in a week. Today is, what day is today? I've just got back up off, off on holiday. Back, eh. I've just I've just got back off of holiday, uh, and so yeah, I just don't know what day it is. I mean, I don't know what day it is on the best at the best of times, even when I've not been on holiday. So, yeah, there's no hope for me right now. I don't know what day it is, but it's a Tuesday. I know that it's a Tuesday, uh, and it's in June. Apparently, apparently we got to June at some point. I think I've rambled on enough for for this intro, so yeah. Should we try and knit some socks? Yeah. How about how about while you're watching this video, you also try and finish a project that has been sitting mostly finished, and you just need to put some final touches on it. How about you try and finish that while you're watching this video? Okay. Sound like a deal? Sound like a plan? Let's do it. If I can untangle myself from this yarn first. Ah! <laughs>
update time. It's Saturday afternoon, so last time, since the last time you saw me, I have finished these socks and then because I then knew where to put the heel, I then did, like, cut open the heel on all the other socks and, like, picked up the stitches. So, yeah, these two I just put onto cords so I can sort that out later um, and then the other two I well I put them onto just spare needles well one of them onto spare needles the other one onto the needles that I was going to use which is the ones with the blue cords I like these best for socks I think they're higher highers um, yeah, so I finished this one. I did this one, like, at book club, on the bus to book club, on the bus home from book club, on my lunch breaks at work, because I'm cycling to work at the moment, so I don't have any time to knit on the bus to and from work, because I don't take the bus to and from work at the moment. And then, yeah, started, pretty much finished that one. I just need to graft the end, so uh, I can never remember how to do Kitchener Stitch which is what you need to do for grafting. I can never remember how to do it without having the instructions in front of me. So I'll do that at some point. And then this is how far I've got on the second sock for that one. And it should be fairly fast now because you do four decreases every other round. So the rounds just get shorter and shorter and shorter. So I, I love that. It's so much fun. Yeah. Um, so plans for this afternoon. I'm going to finish this graft both of these maybe weave in the ends if I can be bothered but the other thing I want to do this afternoon is make some progress on this guy so I need to work out where in the pattern I got to um I think I'd just finished the gusset so I've got the pattern here I'll figure out how to do that where I was in that um make some progress on that hopefully and yeah, I'm going to do that while watching Bridgerton because I haven't seen the new season of Bridgerton yet. So yeah, that's my update. time um it is the next tuesday what day is it? is it the is it the 18th or the 17th sometime around then um 
it's the Tuesday after the Tuesday when I said I would finish knitting all of my socks in a week. So it has now been a week. Uh, and spoiler alert, I did not finish, I did not complete that rather uh, ambitious goal. I have not completed all my socks. However, I've got quite close. I'm still quite impressed with how much I've knitted. Um, I have come down with some kind of cold or something. So I've been feeling under the weather the last couple of days. That's why I didn't film yesterday. Um, and, uh, but uh, regardless of feeling a bit rough yesterday and Sunday afternoon, I still <laughs> soldiered on and made a good amount of progress on my whoops oh that yarn is very tangled around things there we go still made a good amount of progress on my dragon sock so i was around like maybe here during the last update and so i've knitted all that so i think that's pretty good um, I thought, I initially aimed to finish the colour work tonight, even if I wouldn't manage to finish the rest of the toe, which I knew I wouldn't. But, um, well, as I said, I pushed through yesterday to, um, you know, do the knitting that I did and, you know... I don't think it helped with feeling ill so I figured tonight I would um, give myself a bit of a break and say you know I'm probably never gonna meet this goal anyway and if I'm a bit ill maybe I just need to be a bit you know um, gentle on myself <laughs> let myself have a bit of rest so as you can see I am still knitting but I'm knitting something much easier so um, I forgot to bring it upstairs with me, but I did finish uh, the heel on the first of these socks, the green ones. Um, I've left it downstairs and I could not be bothered to go and fetch it. <laughs> um, now having said that, I've finished the knitting on it. I still need to graft the end and I of course still need to weave in the ends. The other socks I knitted before, I also didn't manage to weave in those ends either. Um, I have lost my preferred darning needle and the one that I've been using is really hard on my hands. It's not fun. So, you know, I'm going to aim to have all the socks completed quite soon. Maybe by the end of this week, maybe by Sunday. Um, and hopefully I'll be feeling a bit better by then. But, um, I don't know whether I'll include weaving in the ends or not, you know. Maybe if I want to get some new downing needles to replace the ones I've lost. <laughs> um, that don't kill my fingers. <laughs> then uh, uh, maybe I'll want to wait a bit longer before I weave in the ends. But then again, I'll want to weave in the ends before I can block them. And I would quite like to have all of these blocked before I, uh, you know, before the end of the video. But then again, I'm filming this when I have another video still to edit and go out before this, so I have time. I have time. It won't happen this week, but maybe it'll still happen by the end of the video, via editing magic or something. <laughs> you know, weeks still have gone by and I'll just be like, no, that was definitely the next day. <laughs> definitely wasn't weeks later. <laughs> have I done this right? Yeah, I've done this right. Okay. Um, so that's all I've got for you now. Um, I will update again at some point. Um, yeah, that was all I have to say. Finished the last one on Thursday evening and it's now Saturday and I think to do some grafting.
Kok? did it actually take me to finish off four pairs of socks well I tried to do it in a week I did not manage to do it in a week did I manage to do it in two weeks no it was well it was I think two weeks in a day maybe two days I had in my head uh, two weeks and two days but then I think it was actually two weeks and one day so I think I just did maths wrong um but yeah I'm so glad to finally have finished all of these they all turned out really well I will say that this way of of making socks while it's convenient at the time of knitting because I just need to knit a tube I don't need to you know think about heel placement while I'm chatting with friends or on the bus or whatever I'm doing you know watching a film um I don't need to think about heel placement but it is a faff to finish and it's especially a faff when you're doing contrast colours and you have ends to weave in because then you have an end when you start two ends here where you change colours an end on either side where you cut and also two ends for the contrast heel and then two more ends here and another here at the end when you finish. So that's, what is it? One, two, no, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ends. Ten ends to weave in on this one pack, one single sock. And then I have to do another. So annoying. So annoying. Um, but you know, I get a nice pair of socks at the end <laughs> and I don't have to have to think about heel placement while I'm knitting. So that's nice. So yeah, uh, they're all done. They're all really comfy and I am so pleased with how these turned out. I finally finished them. It's only taken me two years. <sighs> 
I did do the colour work on the ankle too tight on both socks even though I knew this was an issue on the first sock so I tried to compensate on the second one and not you know not repeat my same mistakes but it's it's still kind of tight so it's a, they're a faff to get on and off but look at them they're beautiful it's worth it <laughs> and they're very comfy too once they're on they're nice and comfy so that's good and maybe with time they'll stretch out a bit maybe I can block them a little bit wider not sure but we'll try so yeah really happy with how those turned out really happy with how these turned out really happy with how these turned out and these ones unfortunately the one thing that did go wrong is that on these ones I don't know if you can see that from here I caught a stitch on my sock blockers my sock blockers have these llamas cut into them which are very cute and I imagine it helps with like airflow so they dry out at a reasonable pace but uh, unfortunately they do have some slightly sharp bits and this is the first time I've had this problem but yeah one of my stitches caught on a sharp corner of one of the llamas or alpacas or whatever they are um, and so yeah I have a hole in my sock already just from blocking it which is really sad so I haven't tried these ones on yet because I don't want to try them on and risk making this hole bigger so what I'm gonna do is I've got some more of this purple yarn left over so I'm gonna sew a little patch over the top um, and then those should be should be great I've not filmed the reveal shots yet so you'll see those shortly I need to shave my legs first um, and I need to fix this because I can't wear these until I've fixed this but yeah apart from that everything went great I've now gone from just two or three pairs of hand knitted socks to about seven <laughs> so that's pretty great that's pretty great that's a win for my sock drawer and now I you know I feel great that I've now you know cleared my plate of all those projects I don't need to think about them anymore well apart from sewing up the the hole <laughs> um yeah and I can I have some socks I want to design and I've already picked up another project that I put down ages ago and haven't worked on in haven't worked on in like absolutely ages so I picked that back up again and yeah it just feels really great to know that all these projects that were sitting in half finished purgatory or you know 90% finished purgatory <laughs> they're now done and I can wear them and I don't need to you know feel bad about having not finished them anymore so that's good all right I think that's it um thanks very much for watching and leave a like and a comment if you like please follow me for more and I'll see you next time happy crafting Bye.